Okay, hi, my name is Jackie. I'm a professor here at Seneca Polytech, and today what we're going to do is we'll show you how to use the Keysight 34461A digital multimeter, and we're going to use it to measure voltage. What we have set up here is we have a breadboard with two resistor connected to it in series, and we're going to try to measure the voltage at each particular point of the uh, circuit. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is when we arrive at the lab, we want to make sure that our multimeter is turned off and as well as the um, power supply is turned off. Now we won't go through the power supply because the power supply was done in another video. Okay. So we'll go a bit more in detail on how to use the digital multimeter. So when you arrive at the lab and uh, you see the multimeter, the first thing that you want to do is you want to turn it on. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute for this multimeter to power up, but that is fine because at the meantime, what you can do is now you can set up those um, cable so then it goes into the right plug. If those cable are plugged in already, remove them, okay, so then you know um, how to plug them in properly okay, instead of trusting what is on there from before. This time what we want to do is we want to measure voltage. So the red cable, we need to go to the voltage connector okay, with the V symbol in there input voltage so we're going to do the red plug into the red black one will always go to the middle so we'll go here okay and that is how we're going to set up the connection now usually the multimeter will start up with the uh, dc voltage as kind of the default setting already okay but just in case if this is not the setting that comes up we can always go to the dc v mode for dc voltage measurement so we're going to do this here dc voltage measurement Okay, and what will come up is it will be in auto range, and that is all you have to do to measure voltage. Now there's a lot of offense setting with the multimeter that you can go and discover, but those are outside the scope of this video, so that's for you to discover on how to use it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take the alligator clip that we have connected to the multimeter. Okay, so let me just follow this and make sure that this is the alligator clip that is with the multimeter here. Two alligator clip and we're going to try to connect the two alligator clips to various points on the circuit. Now before we do that, we have to power up the circuit first. So let's turn on the power supply. Set to, let's just do 5 volt as our output. 5 amp as the current limit, that is fine. Verify that the plug is actually at 6 volt, and we're going to turn the output on. Okay, so now there is 5 volt coming to the breadboard. Okay, and what we have set up is the breadboard. We have this terminal that is connected to the positive rail, and then we have the negative side connected to the uh, negative rail. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to measure voltage. There's a few way, okay, because uh, as long as we can um, connect the two alligator clip um, to the two various points on circuit, then you can find the potential um, electrical potential between the two points. So one of the uh, easy ways is if you want to measure voltage between the positive and the negative rail, you can actually plug them into the, um, to the two banana cable okay, or find two point there, but we don't really have that in terms of exposure. So let's just put the negative one, connect that to one of the resistor that is connected to the negative rail. And now we're going to connect the alligator clip to one of the uh, middle of this here. Okay, so now once we have the allocator clip plug in to the middle of the circuit, okay, uh, as you can see here, we have the two resistors in series, so we're creating a voltage divisor circuit. The middle, because they're both, uh, the two resistors, they're both of the same value, so the potential at the middle should be the midpoint of the 5 volt output from the power supply, and that is exactly what it's showing. Okay on the multimeter, which is 2.505. Now, if you want to measure the potential difference between the two rail or across the two resistor, we can always unclip this side, clip it onto the other side of the circuit, and now we get 5 volt as a measurement. So you can play around with the alligator clip, 
Okay, and then the other thing that you can also do is you can always clip a jumper wire on the alligator clip and then plug it into the furious point of the circuit. Okay, so if I put it in here, okay, we should get 2.5 volt because that is the other half of our voltage divisor circuit. So that is how you can measure electric potential from a, yeah, using a digital multimeter. So once again, after we finish taking the measurement, okay, the safety is always first. So the first thing we want to do is we want to unclip the two alligator plug from uh, the multimeter away. Okay. Now we can keep it on, you don't have to shut it off, but the key thing that you want to shut off is turn off the output of the power supply. Okay. And then uh, depending on if you're gonna use the power supply more, you can always turn off the power supply as well. And that is how you measure footage using a digital multimeter. Thank you very much and join us with the, uh, some of the other video that we have.